السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ایسٹیمڈ پیپل آئی ایم فاطمہ مظفر ممبر آل انڈیا مسلم پرسنل لا بورڈ اینڈ ممبر انڈین یونین مسلم لیگ ٹوڈے ٹوینٹی ففتھ جون از اے ڈے دیٹ وی ہیو ٹو ریمبر آور لیٹ لیڈر غلام محمود بنات والا رحمۃ اللہ علیہ ہز لاس واز ناٹ اے لاس فار مسلم لیگ الون بٹ دا اینٹائر مسلم کمیونٹی آف انڈیا دا لیڈر ہو واز اے لائن ان دا پارلیمنٹ we are thankful to the kerala people and the maharashtrians for giving such a great leader to the country of india being a mla from bombay and seven times mp from ponani constituency in malappuram kerala the indian union muslim league got its strength and courage from this great leader gulam mahmud banatwala sahib rahmatullahi alaihi may allah keep him in the highest abode in jannah May Allah accept all that he has done for India and the minorities of India. Why do I say this? Because of the number of bills that he single-handedly has handled in the parliament of India and during his MLA tenure in Maharashtra. The Shabanu debate which has happened in the parliament, the various minority bills pertaining to different issues of the minorities of india has always been held with valor and vigor by the exemplary debates of gulam mohammed banatwala sahib subhanallah what language what stature this slender man this tall man with the sherwani and the cap stood up all alone in the parliament but voiced the crores and crores of minorities sentiments in the parliament of india he stood up as a great statesman he stood up for the democracy of india he stood up for the equality of india and he stood up for the rights of those who had nobody for them to represent we remember gulam mohammed banatwala sahib with all the respect and reverence we remember gulam mohammed banatwala sahib with gratitude and thankful for him to have dedicated his entire life for the cause of india and the minorities of india especially the indian union muslim league i just want to share one uh, as personal experience that i have had with him i think before he passed away in 2008 it was the last time that i met him myself and my husband uh, muzaffar sahib when we were talking to him and i was telling him uh, sir you have to regularly come and be with us in chennai uncle i used to address him as uncle because he was a very close friend of my father marhum abdul samad sahib when gulam mohammed banatwala sahib was the president of indian union muslim league my father was the general secretary of indian union muslim league so we had him always in high esteem like a fatherly figure figure for my entire family so when i told him uncle you have to uh, frequently come and visit us he very strongly registered these words to me he said i may be the president of indian union muslim league and your close family friend but i consider myself as a khadim of the umma and he said you know what is a khadim khadim is a servant of the community do servants sit with the masters always no the servants are called when they are needed so i am happy that you want me to come very frequently and and be with you but remember i am a khadim i am a servant when you need me when the umma needs me i will be there to serve them <laughs> subhanallah what a great word that he said to me i always recollected the humility the courage the boldness the conviction and the will power with which he stood up for just the glance of gulam mohammed banatwala sahib gave us the strength gave us the pride that we are muslim leaguers on this day on behalf of the indian union muslim league and the muslims and the minorities of india it's our duty to pray for him may allah accept all his good deeds forgive his sins make his life in the grave a very bright and comfortable one and give him the highest abode in jannatul firdaus amin ya rabbal alamin wa akhir dawana anil hamd rabbil alamin